Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I have another Wonder Recipe number four card set for you. A Wonder Recipe is when you take a six by six piece of designer series paper. This is a piece of pick a pattern from Stampin' Up's brand new catalog. It's 12 by 12 designer series paper. I cut it to six by six. That's where we're gonna start. This is the three cards that this Wonder Recipe is going to make. It'll make one of this design, and it will make two of this design. Okay. I've got Stampin' Up's brand new pieces and patterns. It's part of the same suite as the Pick a Pattern Designer Series paper that we're using, and the hardwood background. I've used the Layering Ovals Framelits dies. And I've also used the Swirly Scribbles Thinlets because there is a little leaf in there that is the perfect size for pairing up with the flower from Pieces and Patterns. You're going to need a couple of markers. I've got my many marvelous markers here. We're going to need Sahara Sand. And we're going to need Crushed Curry. And we also could use Flirty Flamingo if you have it. That's from the 2016-2018 in colors. I don't have those markers, so I'm going to use a blender pen and the Flirty Flamingo Stampin' Pad. Stampin' Pads are Flirty Flamingo and Basic Black for this project. And for the background, we need a crushed curry. Let me get started here by showing you how we're going to cut our 6x6 piece of designer series paper. So I've got my designer series paper, my Stampin' Trimmer, and the Wonder Recipe Cutting Diagram, which is available on my blog, KitchenTableStamper.com. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link in the description. If you're watching on the blog, the link is underneath the embedded video. It's clickable and you can pull this right up and print the diagram. So here's our six by six sheet. And the first thing we're going to do is take one and three quarters inches off the top. So we'll line that up there. Let me bring this down a little bit so you can see. One and three quarters and we're gonna take that one off the top. Then we're going to rotate that and cut three inches. So we're going to cut this piece in half. And there's our first two pieces. Set those aside. Now we've got this piece left and we're going to rotate it and take one and three eighths inch. So three eighths inch is between the quarter and the half. You'll see there's a larger mark there. So three eighths inch. That's important with this Wonder Recipe. We're gonna use that one and three eighths a lot. So there's one, and we're gonna take two of those off. Now you'll see we have our pieces cut for our first two cards. Do you see how that works? All right, now with this piece, we're gonna rotate again and take one and three eighths off. And then another one and three eighths. And then our last piece is just a little bit large. We want all three of those pieces to be the same for good design. So we're gonna go one and three eighths again, which actually just trims about an eighth of an inch off the edge of our last piece here. So this is the scrap that we're left with. These are all pieces that we want for our three cards. All right? Now for the other consumables, and this will all be on printable project sheet on the blog, so you don't have to take this down. We're gonna make three cards, so we need three card bases, three crushed curry layers. We need some scraps of Whisper White cardstock, Whisper White oval, a Flirty Flamingo oval, a scrap of Zahara Sand, I've cut my leaves from Emerald Envy already. All right, so let's start with these two cards, which means we'll need these two card kits. We'll put that one aside for a minute. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is my hardwood background. And so I've got my Crushed Curry ink pad. I've got my hardwood background and the two four, four by five and a quarter pieces of Crushed Curry. Now, if you look at my sample, I have kind of a 
you know, distressed in and out, uh, the pattern kind of fades. So what I'm going to do is just ink the center of my stamp. And then when I go to stamp my background, I'm going to hold the background paper in one hand and I'm just going to kind of press with the other. So we're going to get an incomplete image and that's okay. I'm going to kind of line that up again and just hold with the other hand and then grab a little bit of that pattern over there. So there, it fades in and out. There's some places where it's not, it's okay. And then we're gonna do the same with the second background. Okay, my background stamping is done. And now I'm going to add my pattern papers. Okay, so our pattern layers are adhered down, and now we're just going to, while we've got the snail, we're going to put some on the back of each of our crushed curry layers. Now we'll center them on our Whisper White card bases, and we're going to stamp Hello There with 30 Flamingo, giving the ink some time to transfer because we've got this nice solid image. And then we're going to take our little blossom and stamp that three times for each card. Let me show you how I colored one of these flowers. So what I'm going to do is grab my blender pen and the lid of the ink pad and I'm going to really just pick up a whole lot of that ink and then fill in the center with little circles. And we get a nice full saturation, almost if we had a flirty flamingo marker. It's a good tip when you're in a pinch to make something match, but you don't own everything. All right, so our flower centers are all colored in. You want to clean your blender before you put it away. Then we'll take our crushed curry marker and just run the crushed curry around the outside there. Very simple coloring. Okay, I'm going to do a little fussy cutting now, and then I'll meet you back here. Okay, I'm back with my nine fussy cut flowers. I fussy cut my greeting. I just wanted to point this out to you. You can absolutely grab a circle die or a circle punch, and you can pop that out. But I like to cut it by hand to, pre to preserve the integrity of the image. It's not a perfect circle, and I like that about it. So I did want to save that. Now... I'm going to grab some dimensionals here and just get these little greetings on the card. Now oh, look at that. There's two sides to every paper, right? Okay, so here's our little hello there. All right, now I've got one flower that's down flat and two that are undimensionals. So let me grab some multi-purpose liquid glue. And I'm going to grab two flowers. Now, I want one of these in particular. I colored out of the lines on one of these. So I want this one to be a flat flower because I colored out of the lines. And I also want to hide where I colored out of the lines. So I want my leaf to be on the other side of where I colored out of the lines. Now, I'm going to tuck it under the greeting and glue it down flat. See? Now you don't even know I colored out of the lines. I need to cut some of my dimensionals in half here for the rest of these flowers. Okay, I've got two more flowers here, and one of them is going to get two little leaves. So I'm going to add a little multi-purpose liquid glue for those leaves to grab onto. And you see how they just kind of come out from the flower? If they were clock hands, I'd say maybe they said one in four. 
And then when I've got my leaves glued down, I'll add a half a dimensional on the back to just secure everybody in place and then add it to the card. My last little flower needs a leaf also. They can't all got to have leaves. So we're going to multi-purpose that to the back and then add a half a dimensional there. I have to rotate a little bit. There's our card. Let me just embellish this one up real quick. Okay, so there they are, the first two cards from our Wonder Recipe. Now we've got one more to go. Here's our card. We're going to start out by stamping the background. Now the background of this one, I stamped entirely with the crushed curry, and I didn't aim for that distressed look. Because of the direction of the card and because of the pattern paper, I made the design decision to go ahead and stamp the entire background. So I'm going to ink the entire background with the crushed curry, and then I'm going to apply the background piece to the stamp, and then just burnish the image. And there's our entire hardwood background. Now let's go ahead and adhere our hardwood background to our Whisper White card. And then I'm going to only use the black and white pattern on this design from our pieces. So let's get those adheres to the card too. I'm bringing in my basic black stamp pad. We've already done our flowers, so let's do our bear and our greeting. I've got my Whisper White oval and the Wild About greeting. We want to stamp it down from center so we have room for our bear. Cute greeting, I just love that. And then I've got that piece of um, Sahara sand and we're gonna stamp our bear. Now, when I was stamping my flowers, I stamped the little muzzle of my bear because I'm gonna fussy cut it and paper piece it onto my bear. I think it gives his face so much life. I know it takes a bit of time, but I think it's well worth it. So I've got my bear stamped on both of those pieces. We're gonna go back to Flirty Flamingo and the blender pen for a minute here and color in our Wild About You greeting. So I'm just gonna press the pad to the lid and get a little more fresh ink there because I really want a nice saturated look. I don't really want it to be very watercolored. I want it to be solid and filled in. So I'll keep picking up more ink as I go. I don't want it to fade. Okay, get my Wild filled in and my Blender pen's clean. Now I've got the Sahara Sound marker, and I'm going to use the brush point also, and we're just going to shadow in the back of this letter. Okay, it's time for me to fussy cut again, so I'll be right back. I'm going to fussy cut my little bear and his muzzle. Okay guys, I'm back and I've cut out my itty bitty little muzzle and my bear and now I wanna glue those two together before I do something crazy like lose his face. So I've got a little multi-purpose liquid glue on my bear and I'm gonna drop that little white muzzle right back in. Now while we've got him, I'll put a little bit of multi-purpose glue on the bottom half of him because you can see he's exceeds the limits, but we're going to stand him up right over that D. Fix his face. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Just in love with him. All right, turn him over. We're going to add some snail adhesive and bring in our flirty flamingo. Say that fast. Galloped oval and get some dimensionals on the back of there. Okay, we can go ahead and put our sentiment on the card, and I've got it pretty far off of center. It's definitely to the right of center. 
Now I've got my three fussy cut flowers that we did with our last cards and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom half of this flower and I'm going to put a dimensional on the top half because it's going to float over both edges here. It's going to be on the on the bumped label but it's also going to be on the card. And well before we put that down we've got it all exposed to the adhesive we're going to add a leaf into that multi-purpose liquid glue and then you can just glue it down. Now the next flower gets multi-purpose liquid glue on the back. We're going to add a leaf so adhere the leaf and then tuck it under and our last little flower here is going to be like the first one where we're going to put some multi-purpose liquid glue on one side here and then the leaves on the other we've got two leaves so you can see I've got two little dots of glue we'll just drop those leaves right in and then we need half a dimensional again we're just going to go over those guys and peel and stick that guy down Right, so there's our Wild About You card. That's one design. Our second card design are these Hello There. So three, three cards, two designs, all from one six by six sheet of designer series paper. If you've got any questions about the Wonder Recipe or about Stampin' Up, if there's anything I can do to help you stay crafty, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.